Hello, hello. So, um, going off the list that I asked you guys, what would you like to see um, on the next live stream? You guys voted first for the gold nugget, which we gave away two streams ago. Then you voted for the Morgan Silver Dollar, the B Morgan Silver Dollar, we gave that away. And then Space Rocks was the third thing. So here's the third thing, but instead of just giving one or two away, or two or three of the same kind or something like that, we're doing an entire collection of different meteorites today. And we have iron meteorites, we have a palisite here. Uh, this one here is a chondrite, which means it's a stony meteorite. I'll go over all this stuff as the show goes. But, yeah, I thought that would be a pretty cool thing to get. Um, for somebody looking to start a meteorite collection, this is perfect because they're all different kinds from all over the world. And, uh, yeah, I figured that would be kind of fun. Drinking coffee today from my office coffee cup. I got it for Christmas. Because Heather knows I watch The Office all the time. You sound like a hacker. Darth Vader. What? You sound like you're on sulfur hexafluoride. Interesting. Let me restart my audio and we can maybe fix that. Okay. Check, check, check. Is that any better? Is that better? What's up, Dominic and Ray's World and Sean? This is Wheel Life. Christina, Sean, Eric. Nope, nope, nope. Everybody's saying nope. I guess it's not working yet. Um, let me try one more time. hear me at all let's see properties ux2 mm. is that any better any better sounds like the cam yeah that was the camera mic now this now it's this microphone if i can't get it fixed i'm gonna have to keep messing with it that's better okay cool all right, good. Yeah, I just had to restart the thing. So, um, yeah, we're going to be giving these six different meteorites away from all over the world, all over the universe. Uh, well, the solar system, most likely. Probably from the asteroid belt. Um, here we have a... This one is a palisite. This one has... It actually has olivine in it got the crust on the outside and it's a sliced piece right there so you can see it, you can actually see the gemstones in it and the metal so there's that this one here is from Argentina an iron meteorite slice right there and you can see it it also has the crust on the outside from when it burned through the atmosphere this one is can piece of the Canyon Diablo, that giant meteor crater in um, Arizona. This is a piece of that that made that giant meteor crater. Um, this one is another iron meteorite from China. From It's called Nandan from the Guanxi area of China. That's a full solid meteorite there. Um, this one is the chondrite. This is a stony meteorite found in Africa. I think that one's really cool. And that weighs 11.36 grams, just this one alone. And this one, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sikhot Allen, found in Russia. That's a 5 grammer there. Another iron meteorite. So there you go. Um, I just wanted to show that stuff off in the beginning of the stream so I can clean up this mess right here. All 
All right, let's clean this up. Um, if anybody would like a chance to win these, um, you don't have to donate to win. Um, I do a free entry giveaway every hour. Um, we're starting at four, so the first giveaway is going to be at five. But if you would like to buy an entry to win all six of these, it's five bucks per roll per entry. Um, I'm going to be opening rolls of half dollars here, looking for silver and anything worth more than 50 cents. If I find it, I'll send it to you. All right, uh, let's put this stuff away. So if anybody wants to see it, all I have to do is rewind to the beginning. I thought it was pretty, pretty interesting to have, you know, have an entire collection of different meteorites. So if you're looking to start a collection, this is the way to go right here. Is the whole set a single giveaway? Yeah, yeah. Yep, one person's gonna win all this stuff tonight. Well, right now nobody is because nobody's donated yet. <laughs> so whoever donates first, until the next person donates, you'll have a 100% chance of winning it for five bucks. Okay, but it's a total of about 41 or f it's over 41 grams altogether. All right. Yeah, so we have Africa, Argentina, Russia, China, Kenya, and Africa here. This is a big one. There we go. So how's everybody doing today? What is it? Monday, Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon. Yeah, I was looking at my meteorites and I was like, you know what, dude? I'm going to take one of each of these and make a little full collection here that we can give away for a giveaway. So that'd be pretty cool. All right, I'm going to put these all in a bag so I don't lose anything. Find a baggie here. Okay. All right, perfect. Cool. Jeef's Garden, what's up, man? Um, AU rocking better now before you sounded like that singer from the Oak Ridge Boys. Um, Eric Young is the whole set of single giveaway. Yes, it is. Cactine says, Why? Why what? What's up, Blazing Dube? Yeah, I hope everybody's doing good today. Drinking coffee for the show right now. Ah. Uh. AU rockin' once a roll, uh, ten rolls here. I got you covered, man. Okay. Fix the camera. I know it's blurry. That'll work. Doesn't focus. I gotta fix that, too. Get it to focus on this right about here. Okay. AU rockin'. Cool. Why give away all the meteors? Oh, because I already have a collection and I had extras laying around and I figured you guys would like that kind of stuff. I know you like precious metals. Some meteor, some meteorites are worth more than gold and silver, for sure. Dylan Barker says, what's up, buddy? Went panning yesterday in my backyard creek, found some quartz. Nice, dude. What's up, Tasty Dragon, bruh? And Andrew B. Cool. Yeah, um, yeah, we got 10 rolls here for AU Rockin'. I was going around to different banks today asking for half dollars, and they have them taped up in these $10 rolls. I didn't even check for enders yet. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, that's nice to have them in 
packs packages of 10 all set for me here all right nice you guys ever see this episode of the office here uh you can't see anything can you let's see if i can get the shadow on it Michael Scott's Dunder Mifflin Scranton Meredith Palmer Memorial Celebrity Rabies Awareness Pro Am Fun Run Race for the Cure <laughs> from that Fun Run episode of The Office. I watch that show quite a bit. Helps me fall asleep at night. It's a good show. Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. You never seen The Office? Oh man, you got to. It's on Netflix. If you have Netflix, definitely start watching it. You'll laugh your head off. Michael pukes. On, he does puke on that one. He does. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. Um. So we got AU Rock, and he got ten rolls. Let's let's start into it. Okay, got my bucket there for K coins. All right, we're all set. Good luck, man. Now these rolls, the lady said um, they were there for, oh, there is a K-Coin in there. She said they were there for a couple months. So I have no idea when these were, you know, brought by the the, um, the truck, the armored truck or anything. So I can't say, we can't really have a prediction on whether or not there's going to be more or less silver in these. It's a total mystery at this point. Although, since there's a K-Coin, we know they haven't been there since um, November 2018. So, no more than a year have they been at this bank. There's another K-Coin coming up. Why am I not throwing that in the bucket? I gotta keep those. There's another one. Nebo Gold Adventures wants a crack. Well, he wants 10 cracks at the Meteorite Collection. What's going on, man? Thanks for the donation. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I think it'll be a nice, really nice start. A much bigger start than I had when starting a Meteorite Collection, that's for sure. Can I get Ikes at my bank? Yeah. Um, let me show you something here. Give me one second. I will get this here. Here it is. We'll copy that, and I'll paste this link for whoever asked about it. Um, Daryl Adams, check out that link right there. I got a couple, what was it, 1300 bucks worth of Ikes for my bank the one time, and I went through every single one on this mat, and I sorted them out by year, and then I explained all the different errors and things that you should look for when searching through Eisenhower dollars. Um, can you get Ikes at your bank? You got $1,000 one time, but ever since, they haven't been able to order them yet. So, like, from what I understand, at least through Loomis at the, the central vault, they do get them, and they put them in a separate thing, and once it fills up, then a bank can special order them. So you have to put in a special order through your bank, and they, you have to keep on them, because they, they'll, they have to do it every week. They have to request it every week, so you have to keep asking in order to get your Ikes. You selling crack? Nope, bye-bye. How do you re remove, report? Put in timeout. We'll just put them in timeout. Don't talk about drugs. This is a family-friendly show. <laughs> All right, we got one from... We got Robin Hardy here. He wants a roll. All right. Nebo Gold also gets a roll. 
uh, 10 rolls. Let me write your guys' entries in. Let's take another swig of the coffee. Oh, you missed it, Blazing Dude. That's all right. We'll catch him next time. <laughs> all right. Nebo Gold and Robin Hardy. Yeah, because I don't know. Maybe my daughter's watching this or I don't know who's watching this. We won't be talking about drugs or anything like that on here. That's not cool. <clears throat> All right. Even though I'm drinking caffeine coffee, which is a drug, I guess. But, you know, it's illegal. I don't think crack is legal anywhere except Portugal. Uh, All right. Okay, uh, let's keep going here for AU Rockin'. So if anybody's just joining and they're wondering what the giveaway is, you'll have to rewind to the beginning of the show, and I go through the entire collection of meteorites I'll be giving away at the end of the show tonight. There's six different meteorites. Uh, there's one palisite, four iron, and one chondrite meteorite. I show them in detail at the beginning of the show. It's a good way to start a meteorite collection. 74, 74, 96. Drugs are bad, okay? Yes, they are bad. I mean, depends what kind of drugs. I'm talking about illegal drugs. I don't care. Like, personally, I think all drugs should be legal. However, because of the law, if we're talking about that stuff in here, I don't know if YouTube would delete my channel. You know, it's for my own safety, to be honest with you. I, if it was up to me, I don't care what you talk about, but for legal reasons. We'll keep it family friendly, right? Are you giving them all away at once or individually? It's going to be all at once. All six for one person. All six meteorites for one person. It is a full collection. A much bigger collection than what I started out with. There's a pretty good variety of different ones. They're all pretty pretty decent, small to medium-sized meteorites, I guess. <clears throat> Dumb terms of service, I hear that. I hear that. Mod has dube in his name. Well, marijuana, cannabis is not illegal here in Colorado. I'm in Colorado. You can talk about cannabis all you want. Besides, he's probably talking about tobacco, right? I mean, I drink soda pops on stream. That's not illegal. <laughs> Fair. I would like to hunt for them. Yeah, um, there's, a, there's actually a location not too far from where I'm at that an iron meteorite did fall back in the 1800s up in the mountains and I'd like to take my detector up there for a video at some point another K coin dude we got a lot of K coin oh there's a 2003 NIFC right there going to AU Rockin 2003 Denver mintage, mintage on the 2003 D Denver is 2.5 million that's pretty low. Whoa, what was that one? I'm trying to pick it up with my foot. Ugh, can't do it. Oh, dude, I went to the chiropractor. I had a ch chiropractor appointment today. And I was talking to him. You know, he did the regular adjustments and everything. And after the appointment was over, when I was setting up my appointment for next week, I, sa I, I started talking to him like, yeah, on YouTube, there's a uh, chiropractor from Houston and um, he has a lot of YouTube videos and he always has his patients come in and they lay down on the table and he wraps a towel around their neck and he pulls their head. And he said, you know, it, it decompresses your spine. And he's like, yeah, he's like, um, he actually went to a class recently because so many people were coming into his office asking about that. 
And uh, he did it to me today. And holy cow, dude, that's what I needed. Because my spine is like, you know, I have a degenerative disc disease. And he said that a lot of people have, you know, varying amounts of that. You know, mine's just really bad. It's pinching nerves and everything. So he did that to me. And dude, I instantly, f I like, I, like my, actually, I could feel my hands in the back of my arm, the back of my hands. It like brought feeling back to my arm. I have scoliosis too. And I felt like I could picture in my head where the scoliosis cracked in my upper back and my neck and everything. He's like, yeah, just remind me next time to do it again if you want it again. I'm like, yes, please. Is that silver? Let's take a listen to it. Ah. Jeef's Garden says, I'm truly sorry, Shane. It won't happen again. I would... Oh, that's... I don't care. Dude, I'm just... I would hate for something to happen to your channel. You mentioned someone wanted a crack at the collection. You meant you were just making jokes. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. I just, you know... Gotta be careful and... You know... Sorry to make an example of you. I know that you didn't mean any harm. That's fine. Oh, boy. This is the last roll here for AU Rockin'. 86, 73. Well, we got an NIFC out of there. And you get a big pull right now. Oh, dude. My bag is empty. We have to fix that. We're going to fix this. I was going through my... I was going through my coins, and I forgot to add back to the bag. So, we're going to put 30 coins in here. I'll di try to get a good... Um, for, of course, we put the gold in. We're going to put a Morgan in. So, that's two. We'll put three Britannias. That's five. Three Robin Hood. Eight. Three Canadian. 11, three, what are these, Silver Eagles, what is that, 14, three Libertads, that's 17, uh, three Australian, 19, and then like one of each, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and another Libertad. That's 30 coins. Usually I put 40 in there, but we haven't pulled gold in like two or three streams, I think. So we're going to up the odds for this show. Why not? And I'll just put that stuff back here. I got to go back to the coin store and pick up. I was going through that stuff to see what I needed because I don't want to have a million eagles in there or a million maple leaves or whatever. I want to get you know, decent amounts of each thing to mix it up in the bag a little bit. Ever do a plat stream? Yeah, I've done a platinum stream before. I've done platinum coins. I've done gold, silver. I haven't done a palladium one yet. I've done space rocks. I've done Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Ah. Uh, but yeah, if anybody would like else would like to see their name up here, it's five bucks per roll per entry. I'm gonna fix this mat a little bit. I have like a rubber mat underneath it. I just wanna make it straight. That's pretty good. You know what? I'm just gonna adjust the camera angle. Where are we at? Above head camera properties. All right, let's see. That'll work. Okay. Hey, Dylan, I can't believe my first time seeing the stream, I got gold. It got me hooked from the start. Oh, you got gold on your first time here? That's cool. Yeah, that's beginner's luck. Not everybody gets gold on every stream. I'm still sad I missed the Bitcoin streams. Yeah, that was back like November 2017 when the price was like 20 grand per bit per Bitcoin. I was given I gave away like a thousand or two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin that day. Probably more. You counted 31 in the bag? Okay, that's fine. Still better than 40. Crypto is the only kind of stream I haven't won here. Won gold, silver, and space streams. 
Yeah, I haven't done, uh, I haven't done any crypto streams in a while. Um, I kind of got it in my head that I'm gonna keep all my crypto, but I, I don't know. I give away gold and silver. I gave away 33 ounces of silver on my last live stream. No, two live streams ago, I gave away 33 ounces of silver. The one before that was 17 ounces. The one before that was 17 ounces. Yeah, just, I mean, <laughs> lots and lots. <sighs> All right, Nebo Gold is up next. He gets 10 rolls. Here's another stack of 10. Directly from the bank, just like this. I bought $240 worth of half dollars from the bank today, and they, they came wrapped in these little bundles of 10. Like that. All right, let's see what we got here. Nebo Gold. All right, 89, 78, 2000, 76, 76, 8, 4, 4. Win your first fraction of Bitcoin here on my channel. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. Oh, we got silver. We got silver, man, right there. Right there. That looks like silver to me. Let's take a listen to it. I want to see it. Yeah, that's that one right there. That's going to be silver. Let's take a listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely silver. Oh, AU Rockin' gets a big pull. Yes, you do. I'll get that in just a second here. All right. 74, 71, 71, 85. 90%, 1964 silver half dollar for Nebo Gold. It is a Philadelphia mint too here in Denver. That's strange, but it's toned too. It's got like this really cool tarnish on it. You could probably see that in the camera. 90 percenter. That's pretty good. <laughs> see what else we can get for you here. Oh, K coin. Makes sense. We're finding 90% silver and K coins. Check these for enders. I didn't even. I don't usually check the other side for enders, but. Remember, if I find a Franklin or older ender, I'll send you the full roll unopened. Because. An unopened roll is worth more money on eBay. If you wanted to sell the full roll on eBay, like a Walker Ender half dollar, you get a lot of money for that. A lot more than what you would get for just the Walker alone. Come on, silver. We want more silver. That's pretty good. Whoa, what is that? 7283. K coin in the bucket. Where do you buy your silver? Shop or online? I usually go to the local coin store. Um, if I go to a certain city, they don't charge me tax for bullion. So, I mean, I go there quite a bit kind of a drive, but that's totally fine with me. Especially the numismatic stuff, like Carson City Morgans and any kind of numismatic items. I'll buy that. I want to buy that in person. I would never buy that online. I tried. I tried buying through Atmex before, um, buying Morgans, a Morgan Silver Dollars from there, and, you know, I wanted to buy a roll of BU Morgans, and they all came back, they were like AU or XF, they were like not BU at all. So I won't deal with, with these uh, online dealers anymore. I don't trust them. I like to see the coins personally with my own eyes before I purchase, especially when spending, you know, $800 for a roll of, of 
of something. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that it's good. Right? All right, Morbid man, he's back to the grind. Have fun at work. Don't work too hard. Um, sometimes you take your gold collection and hide them inside crevices just to make discovery videos. No, that would be cheating. Besides, if you watch my videos, you know I don't find very much gold like a lot of other channels. Um, that, I don't know. I, I've watched plenty of videos from other channels and I can... I can say that I'm, I think a lot of it is fake for sure. But if you watch my videos, it's the real deal. That's exactly what I find. I, I have no reason to, to fake finding extra gold. That would be, what would the fun of that be anyway? That wouldn't be there, very fun <laughs> if I already knew what I was going to find. Because finding the gold is just a bonus for me anyway. It's not really, I just like, I just like going out there and, and looking for it. Seventy-one. Two left for Nebo Gold. If anybody else would like to keep going, keep the show going, it's five bucks per roll, per entry. Oh, we got another silver here. Right there. Let's see. Oh, look at that toner, man. Whoa. Dude, this roll is sick. Hold on a second. Let me take a picture of this. You won't be able to see it on camera on uh, on camera unless I take a picture of it. Oh, I also designed new guitar picks. So we'll be having new picks coming out. Oh, Christina K, thank you. Look at this coin. That's what it looks like. <laughs> the back is just as crazy. The back actually has some green on it too. So we'll send that to Nebo Gold. Christina K wants a roll. We do have more silver in this roll here. All right, we'll get you up here. All right. Oh yeah. All right, so you got a 90%er, a nice toner. There's a K coin. And there's another silver coming up here in just a second. Another 90%er. <laughs> These rolls are awesome, dude. Two 90 percenters. We didn't even find a 40 percenter yet. And another Philly, and it's in really good shape on the reverse. It even has a mint luster on it, and the front is more tarnished. That's awesome, dude. Two 90 percenters. And we're only two people in. 77, 90, 71. Whoa. And I lost another coin to the floor. Uh, and that is a 95. All right. $5 Ethereum. All right, Daryl, I'll get you written in here. One entry for Daryl A. Right. This coffee cup is huge and it's like right in my way. <sighs> okay. All 
right, last one for Nebo Gold, and then we're going to do a pull for AU Rockin' and Nebo Gold. K-Coin, 84, 83, 76, 72. Dude, you did awesome for 10 rolls. 290% silver. And here we go. First pull is going to be for AU Rockin'. Good luck, man. All right, I got one in my hand. And it is a Canadian maple leaf right there. 2016 Monkey Privy. Reverse proof, 4.9 silver, 1 ounce. Right there, going to AU Rockin'. And let's do another big silver pull here. This one is for Nebo Gold. I got one in my hand. And you also got a Canadian Maple Leaf. Same exact thing with the Monkey Privy Reverse Proof. Nice. Plus you got two 90% silver coins and a sick toner. So we're going to replace those two Canadians with two more Canadians. All right. What is my favorite scary movie? Scary. Movies don't really scare me, even horror, like, I don't know, like, considered horror genre movies. Um, I would say Dead Alive. Brain Scan in other countries. Or, Brain Dead in other countries. Brain Scan's a different movie. Brain Dead. Outside the US. It's called Brain Dead in Other Countries and Dead Alive in the U.S. Christian, I don't know your name, but thank you for the um, the donation. But if you're in chat, I'll give you a roll, my friend. You you donated enough for one roll there, six dollars and sixty six cents. Thank you very much. But let me know who you are in chat so I can I can give you a, a roll. Um, I know you won't forget. Just a reminder, when you do Nebo's pool, AU Rockin' still needs one also, yeah. Um, yeah, Nebo Gold, I mean, you have a really good chance of winning tonight. You have, between you and AU Rockin', you have the most entries for sure. I mean, but I've seen people with one entry win many times. Oh, it's you, Riku? All right. Yeah, there's no international shipping, but I'll I'll give you a roll anyway, man. Just to see. And I'll send you a guitar pick if you um, email me your mailing address. I'll ship you a guitar pick. Since you're a first-time donator. International's fine. Um, this one here, that's got some got some stuff on. I've been I've been playing guitar with these a lot. They they sit right here in my in my studio, so I grab them and play sometimes. But I'll send that to you. Free shipping, but I can't ship any coins or silver or anything to you. If, if like, say your name wins, then we'll just spin again. So, Riku, R-I-K-U. All right. I got you an entry anyway, man. Okay. Um, Robin Hardy's next. Robin gets a roll, Christina gets a roll, Daryl gets a roll, and Riku gets a roll. Look at that. Four single single rolls coming up. Finish this coffee. All right, get that out of the way. And we have, I think it's Space Force Channel. I think it's Space Force Channel. Let me see if he's here in chat. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure that's Space Force channel. I, I recognize the name. Thanks a lot, man. I'm just going to call you Space Force. All right. Yeah, it's, um, it's a total of 41.22 grams of meteorites. There's six different meteorites. It's a full collection. There's four iron meteorites, one palisite, and one chondrite. 
from all over the world. All you know, it's a it's a nice, really nice collection to start off with. All right, dude. Space Force Channel. All right, dude, I got your 10 entries in. And Robin Hardy's up next. Good luck, man. K-Coin. We are finding silver. We found two 90 percenters already. That's really good. Sometimes we go an entire stream without finding any. So it's not too bad. What's up, Pinger? How's it going? One of the meteorites around 3.5 grams. Yeah, okay, so let me show you guys what the weights are. Uh, like this one here is 13 grams. If you go, if you rewind to the beginning of the show, I do open up every single one of these and explain every one. But this one here is a 13.3 grammar, and it's cut so you can actually see, you know, all the coolness inside there. Right there. I think these are really cool when they have a piece of the crust on the outside where you can see, you know, when it was burning through and melting, coming through the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? It's a space rock, a piece of an asteroid. So there's that one's 13.3 grams from Argentina. It's an iron. I have a palace site here. This thing weighs, I think it's four or five grams. Yeah, four grams. This is uh, from the Kenyan palace site meteorite in Serico. It's got olivine inside of it. So there's gemstones and metal melted together. And this also has a crust on the other side. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, you can kind of see it if I open it up a little bit. But yeah. There's that one. Again, I went over all these in the beginning of the show. This is a five grammar from Russia. Iron octahedrite. Right there. It's not cut. It's just a full space rock right there. Nugget. A space nugget. Here's another space nugget. This one's from China. That's a four and a half grammar, or four grammar. Right there, uncut one. I have a piece of the Canyon Diablo from Arizona, that giant meteorite that hit with that, that big old crater. There's a piece of it right there. And you get a free hair with it, apparently. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. This is a sliver of that one. And the biggest one, but not the heaviest, because it's not an iron meteorite. This is a chondrite, which means it's a stony meteorite. Stony iron. It's a chondrite from, it's called Northwest Africa. That's the name of the meteorite. And look at that thing. It's uncut. Big ol' hunk of space right there. So again, you know, like I said, I showed all these off in the beginning of the show. If you want to go back and see more about it, you can go back and rewind and come back uh, and watch it live again. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Definitely worth showing again on camera, so thanks for asking. K-Coin. Man, we're finding lots of silver and lots of K-Coins here. 77, 74. All right, Daryl's up next. There's a K coin, 73, 73. And Riku is up next. 
P-Town says, Namaste. How was your Christmas? Happy New Year to your family tomorrow at 12 a.m. Thanks, man. Yeah, um, my Christmas was awesome. Spent the, uh, the day, actually we spent Christmas Eve down at her parents' down in Cannon City. It was like 70 degrees down there. No snow on the ground. It's like the desert, you know? It's, it's going down towards New Mexico. So it's like Southern Colorado. And it's, it's nice down there. All right, uh, Space Force Channel. Five, 10. These are wrapped from the bank like this. Saving the rubber bands too. Put them there. Okay. So there's 10 for Space Force Channel. Let's check these for enders actually. Nope, no enders. Let's be honest, K-Coins are more valuable. <laughs> Dude, I can make a K-Coin right now. If K-Coins are valuable, then I am making money. <laughs> Put that in the bucket. Thing is, where other than here can you get all of those in one bag worth a shot? Yeah. Um... It's a full collection. It is. It's um, definitely a, at least a really good start. And hopefully get somebody interested in uh, meteorites. <clears throat> New Marshall said cheating. <laughs> Making money just by writing on coins. If they're valuable, I would do that all day long. 80, 73, 2074, 71, 72, 2099, 79. Let's find some more silver. 290 percenters so far ain't too bad. Only going through 24 rolls. Eighty-one, seventy-two, ninety-one, eighty-nine, seventy, ninety-one, two thousand, ninety-eight, ninety-four, seventy-four, eighty-three. All right. All right, Space Force Channel. You got seven rolls left here. Seventy six, seventy four, seventy eight, seventy one, ninety one, seventy four, seventy three. Was Santa good to Lily? Yes, she got all of her LOL toys that she ever wanted. And next year she turns ten, so uh, her mother and I are coming up with a compromise for her. She basically has too many toys, so we're going to try to start getting rid of some of her older stuff that she never plays with. So, like, for her 10th birthday, we're going to do that. She gets to keep everything right now, but for, you know, age 10, that's time to start cutting down on all the all the toys. Because she has a lot of stuff since she was a baby, like, you know, stuff that she never plays with. I mean, if it's broken, it's already trashed. It's just, I don't care how many toys she has, as long as... There is a space for them because I don't want to look in Lily's room and see stuff all over the floor. I don't want to see it not organized. I want to see it nice and organized. But she's nine, so it's impossible for a nine-year-old to do that without being reminded. So. <clears throat> Randy Ray, sup dude. Nebo Gold says my wife said that I don't need another hobby, so let's not tell her. Dude, these, I mean, come on, meteorites, 
that's where, I mean, every element comes from, right? That's where Earth came from, basically space dust, right? I just think it's a really cool, let me show you guys. Here's this is my collection that I have right now not including the doubles and things that I'm giving away for giveaway um, It's gonna be let me get rid of that glass cover so You guys can see a little bit better Yeah, that's not gonna work either is it I got it I got it This is just an example of different things that you can you can start collecting once you have your collection going. So let's get rid of that. There, okay. So like this top row right here, these four different ones, these are uh, different kinds of, uh, um, oh great, I, I need that camera back. You know what, let's go like this. We'll go like this. This is um, glass, Libyan desert glass, all right? So when a meteorite hits, then it comes in so fast, it's not even fire, it's plasma when it's coming in, it's that hot. It hit the desert and it turned some of the, the sand into this glass. And there's different kinds from different meteorites. The stuff that occurred in Libya, it turned like white almost, yellowish white. So I got a hunk of that in my collection, right? And then here's another example of the same exact thing, except that when it hit the Earth, it hit a different area of the Earth. It hit in uh, Czech Republic. And so the mineral composition of the ground and the trees and whatever else it, it vaporized, it turned it into a green glass. So these are actually called um, Moldavite. It has its own name. All right. I can go through all, and there's a few different other uh, glass things up there. They're called, um, the actual word is called tektites. This one's from Tibet. It's just a black piece of glass. Probably hit somewhere with a lot more carbon or something like that. I don't know why it turned black. And here's another tektite. Uh, this one is from Arizona, Saphrod Saphrodite, it's called. Named after the town it landed in. Um, and then, of course, you know, I have some more meteorites here. Big old chondrite. This is the same kind I'm giving away in the giveaway. This is a stony chondrite from Algeria right there. The one I'm giving away is probably half that, uh, less than about a third of that size. It's the same, same meteorite. Um, I have, this one here is lunar. This one's from, actually from the moon. So when a meteorite hit the moon, it ejected pieces of moon rocks into... Um, out of the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, but it brought it away from the moon and eventually it made it to earth and they found these in I think Morocco I think that's where this was found Morocco or something like that um, It doesn't say but it was found in 2017 and then this one is probably my favorite. I Don't even want to touch it. I do want to open it though. So you don't get the glare that is a piece of Mars right there. Same deal. Meteorite hit Mars. This was ejected and made its way to Earth. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. That's my favorite one right there. Um, another, you know, this is a piece of the Serico uh, Palisite. I'm giving a hunk away about the same size as that. Um, this is... This one's a f this one's a few grams bigger. This is a 19 gram piece or 17 gram piece, um, and I'm giving away a 13 and a half gram piece. But this is a lot thinner. But it's the same thing that I'm giving away. Uh, what else am I giving away? More of this stuff here. This is another one of the Russian one. Iron meteorite. Here's a, here's one from Sweden, and you can see it's a little bit different. It's got like more tightly grained crystal crystals in there. But yeah, I got all different kinds. Here's a couple more of those Canyon Diablo slivers. Giving some of that away. Yeah.
There you go. Do you CBD oil? Just wondering. Hey, what's up, Flash in your pan? How's it going, man? CBD oil. Yeah, I used to use CBD oil. Um, however, it contains THC, and that doesn't do good things for me. So I have to stay away from CBD. I've tried it on its own a couple times, and it doesn't do anything for me at all. Pinger wants 10 rolls and 10 entries. Thanks, man. All right, and get your name in the book, Pinger. All right, that's the first rail of the crazy train. All full. All right, Space Force Channel gets three more rolls and then a big pull. Silver. We need some silver. 82, 77, 73, 76, 79, 1980, So can things orbit around the moon? I don't know. Probably, yeah. Because they use the moon to, I mean, anything with mass has gravity, right? So, yeah, you can orbit things around the moon. They use the, the moon to tra as a trajectory point for certain um, spacecraft. Seventy-six, seventy-one. I don't know too much about, you know, rocket science or anything like that. I just like rocks from space. I like looking at these. I collect many different items and enjoy panning for gold. These items are very cool to see. Yeah, cool. I'm glad you enjoy it too. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, a pretty, a pretty neat giveaway. You know, a full meteorite collection for somebody to start out. It's actually a really good starting point for somebody that's interested in it. There's a nice variety of different stuff there. Uh, the caboose. Pingers on the caboose. Yeah, you are over here at the caboose of the crazy train. Flash in your pan, not bad. Shane just got home from a good friend's memorial service. Just kind of bummed he was like a brother. Yeah, that sucks, man. Been there. Hope you're doing good, man. Andrew B says, I've tried CBD for sleep, but THC always does a trick. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't. I got to stay away from THC. Uh, Pinger says, are there any of them iron? Four out of the six are iron meteorites. Four out of the six. So I wanted to give you a good uh, variety. So iron and stony iron are the most common. And then you got your more rare palisites and stuff. And so I threw a palisite in there. There's four iron and there's one stony iron. Chondrite. Um, yeah, man. Um, does it really take years to get astronauts to the moon? No, it only takes a couple days to get to the moon. So, uh, let's keep going here. Space Force Channel. Last roll. And Mr. Ether wants a roll, too. 97, 99, 2, 3, 5, 7, 1, 7. Right. Whoa, I just dropped one. I'll pick that up here in a second. What is this? That one is a 73. All right, Space Force Channel gets a big pull. Good luck, man. All right, let's see what we got here. I got one in my hand and it is a Libertad, one ounce silver. Um, old one too, 1985. And it's a BU condition coin. You can see the mint luster on that thing. This was in a roll, unopened roll since 1985. I got a whole roll of them. And you're lucky enough to have one there. Writing on the edge. Libertad. There you go. Space Force Channel. Congrats on that. Let's replace it with another Libertad. Put this back in the bag. 
And we'll keep going here. Pinger gets 10. 5. 8. 9, 10, 11. We are finding silver tonight. Uh, Mr. Ether wants a roll here. Oh, it's break time. It's exactly five, my time. We're going to take a five minute break. We'll come back to a giveaway and we'll continue on here with Pinger. Every hour on the hour, I like to do a five minute break. That'll give you guys a chance to go do what you need to do for five minutes. Come back and I always do a giveaway as soon as I get back. So don't be late, five minutes, and we'll start the timer. Set timer for six minutes. Setting. Okay, six minutes and counting. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Did I get my little scope working? You know what? Let me show you something. This little scope has caused me so much headache the past... I've been trying to get it working and it does not work. It's going right in the trash can. This little thing it's trash it's trash dude I can't I mean see it's trash it does not work hope that answers your question no grape juice today I'm gonna go downstairs and get some grape juice we're gonna restart the timer here because I'm already you know um you got your envelope. Oh, cool. You got your... Man, that took a long time flashing your pan. Over the holidays, it always takes a long time. I sh I, if you look at the date on that, I bet it was a long time. Like a couple weeks ago, I shipped that to you, dude. That's nuts. Is it more valuable to keep the coins as coins, right? I don't know what that means. Okay. Let's do a five-minute break from now. Stop timer. Set timer for six minutes. Your timer is okay. set for six minutes. Okay, we'll be back.
All right, flash in your pan. Flash in your pan got a roll, uh, 10 rolls. Thanks, man. All right, more silver going out, that's for sure. Maybe some gold. And absolutely some meteorites. A nice collection. So we are, yeah, we're at our five minute mark. We'll go ahead and do a giveaway. We have 30 people watching. Good luck. All right. Got some grape juice too. Make the time pass. All right. Was asking if it's more valuable to keep coins as coins instead of melting into a bar. Um, usually, um, usually the numismatic value is always better than bullion value. All right. Yeah, if you have old silver coins, junk silver, a lot of, uh, a lot of places, if you, like, you know, we buy silver and gold, a lot of those places, they'll take all that silver and gold you bring to them, whether it's jewelry or junk silver. Sometimes they don't even look at the numismatic value. They'll just take it all to a refinery and uh, get the, the silver value for it, spot value. Um, but now if you're collecting coins, it might be more valuable to you, especially if you're checking the dates, looking for errors, looking for rare dates and stuff. Um, I would say keep your coins and don't me melt them down. So there's our winner right there. Bud Rig is the first three on my screen. We go by my screen. That's the whole reason chat is up here on the on the screen. So congrats, Budrig, you get a free entry for the Meteorite Collection. Okay. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing worked for a while. What is this? Oh, that's like the microscope part or something? Weird. Yeah, this thing was like, it just didn't work. I try, I reinstalled it and everything, and it trash. I could have repurposed it for something, but I don't know. I don't have the time. All right. So uh, we have Pinger up next. Good luck, Pinger. Let's get you some silver. We we got two ninety percenters out of these rolls so far. Stay there, microphone. We did Space Force's face Space Force Channel's big pull. Okay, we're all caught up here. Um, let's check PayPal before we get going. Yeah, we're caught up on PayPal. If anybody else would like to see their name here on the board, it's five bucks per roll per entry. If you're interested in looking at the meteorite collection in detail, rewind the live stream all the way to the beginning. And within the first five minutes, I go through all the Every one of the different meteorites that I'll be giving away tonight to the winner. Two 90% silver. Yes, Mud Swat. Lots of silver. <laughs> they were uh, both Kennedys, by the way. Both of them were uh, Kennedy half dollars. 64 Kennedys. Obviously. But in case people don't know... Um, you could have your 90% silver or your American. You could have 90% or 40% silver. Your 40%ers go from 1965 to 1970, and your 90% is going to be everything 1964 and older. The only, um, the only 90% Kennedy is a 1964. Before that, you're getting into Franklins and Walking Liberties and Barbers. And of course, we found a 80% silver Canadian half dollar from 1942 the other night, which was awesome. I never found one of those before. So that was a bucket lister I never even knew that I had. What is that? 
96 mint set for 171. How's it going, Mud Swat, by the way? Thanks for stopping in. Outdoors inspired. What's up, brother? What's up, Mangs and Mag Mang Mangets? <laughs> Mangets. <laughs> yeah. It's going, man. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Nothing there, Pinger. All right. 72, 71, 96, 74, 71, 73, 71, 6, 1, 2, 4, 6, 4. Good, I'm doing good, man. It's a little heartbreaking giving away a big chunk of my collection, but it was, they were all doubles. I've, I already have one of each of those. So I, I kind of compiled a meteorite collection for for somebody. That's the that's the idea behind today's show. I would say it's the coolest the coolest space stream I've ever done. Definitely the the most variety in this space stream than I've ever done. It's got six different meteorites. Four of them are iron meteorites. One's a palisite with olivine in it. And another one is a chondrite, stony iron meteorite from Algeria. All right, come on, silver. Four, 72, Eighty four, seventy four, ninety nine, seventy one, eighty six. Oh, a proof. We got a proof right here. Check this out. Nineteen ninety two San Francisco mint in not terrible shape. It's a little dirty. There's some dirt up here in the around the rim. But the condition of this coin is actually pretty good, man. Awesome. Congrats, Pinger. We got a proof too. Two silvers, a proof. Uh, I think we got an NIFC. We got a nice toner so far. All right. Awesome meteorite sent a little light coin. How much did you send? I don't have my app open. I can open it. I'll go. I'll go ahead and open it. All right. Let's open up the app. Give me a second, I gotta log in. Alright, it's logging in right now. Looks like... Okay, there's Daryl. I got Daryl. And we got Outdoors Inspired once two rolls. Right, outdoors inspired. Cool, man. Thanks. I like that crypto. Litecoin. All right, let me get your entries in the book, too. Can't forget that. All right, cheers with the grape juice. Cheers, everybody. 92 proof, kind of rare. I don't know, that's a good question. Let's find out. Um, 92. 92S. Yeah, they are rare. 2.8 million, right there. 1992S clad. 2.9 million about. Yeah, I would say that's a low mintage coin. Then again, all the proofs are pretty low mintage. You look at it, the 90S, 3.3 million. Uh, the 91S is 2.9. Um, yeah, they're all about 3 million, it looks like. 
without looking at everything, just a couple of those early 90s ones. Still less than the NIFCs though that we find pretty commonly, which is awesome that we're yanking those out of circulation because we know better. 83, 74, 72, 71, 81, 76, 76, 76, 94. Pinger, you got two more, and then we're going to do a big pull for you. Joe Richard said, do some new folks get jacked up with your screen rule. It makes sense to me. Cheers. The your screen rule. I don't know what that means, dude. I wish I did. What's up, Sterla? From Norway, right? Did you record any new bank coin deposit videos yet? Um, bank coin deposit. No, I don't think I will. I think, I mean, I just, the only reason I do my videos is for educational reasons. And I just want, everybody kept asking. So I went over to the bank and showed a coin dump once, you know. So there's a video out there if you want to see it. First on your screen to win items. Oh, oh. No, I, you know, I don't care if they get jacked up about it. That's why I made the rule. So that way there's no argument. There's no reason to get mad. You know, it is what it is. The screen doesn't lie. These meteorites hit Earth around 30,000 to 40,000. So that's not entirely true. It's different for each one. Like, for instance, uh, this one here that fell in, where is it? You could find the, the dates for every one of them, but this one here fell in 1947. This one here fell in Russia. The one in Arizona hit a couple thousand years ago. Uh, this this is the Canyon Diablo. Uh, let me tell you. The Canyon Diablo, uh, it fell, that one fell about 50,000 years ago. That's this one here. That's a piece of that. There's a picture of that big crater in Arizona. That's, you know, this is a piece of the thing that made that crater. You know, I think it's pretty cool. But, yeah, they're all different. Some of them, uh, which one is it? This one here is another old one. This is the world's largest meteorite um, that was found. So this one was found in Argentina. This is a part of the world's largest. Each one of them has a very interesting history. I think this Serico one, this Kenyan one, I think this was found like in the past 20 years. With the crystals in it. Olivine and the metal. So that's an iron palisite right there. But there's a website. Matter of fact, I can show you. Uh, let's see. Oh, that doesn't look good. How did that get wrong? Let's fix that. That's going to be... Ah, darn it. Where's that screen? There it is. Give me one second. I'm going to help you guys out with something. Here we go. All right. So here we go. Uh, this is for like that Northwest Africa one, okay? It was found in the year 2000. Um, it gives you a history. I'll give you guys a, I'll copy, a, I'll copy this link. You guys can check it out for yourself. And this will give you information on every recorded meteorite. You know, it'll tell you all the information you need to know about each one. Uh, it tells you when it was found, when it was purchased, by who, and stuff. It has all different pictures of this. T I mean, I'm giving away one of these meteorites here. The Northwest Africa 869. I'm giving away a 11 or 12 gram chunk of this. From the 2006 one, the L46. So, um, but there's a bunch of other... There's a lot of information there, too, like on every meteorite that's been cataloged, found. If there's a, a, a fall date, it'll have it on there, on that website. Got warmer by the coast. It's 40 Fahrenheit. Wow, that's nice. That's warmer than it is here in Colorado. 
It's uh, probably in the 30, to 30 Fahrenheit here in Colorado. Maybe 35. It's not quite freezing, I don't think. Maybe it is, actually. There's ice on the road still. Because apparently in Colorado, they don't fix, they don't plow very well here. Um, okay. How are you doing, Sterla? I'm doing good. Okay, so Pinger, 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 you get a big pull. Forty-two Celsius and fires everywhere in Australia. Yeah, especially in Victoria. I know it's real bad. You can't even really travel down there from New South Wales. Uh, Pinger, you got yourself a proof Australian. Speaking of Australia, there's a chunk of Australia right here. Four nine silver from the year 2020. One dollar face value. Proof. Kangaroo. Nice. Congrats, Pinger. All right. Okay. Mr. Ether gets a roll. Good luck, Mr. Ether. No enders there. 38 watching and 23 thumbs up. Nice. What's up, James? Shane, you are truly spoiling us this week with all these streams. Yeah. Well, the reason being is I got two weeks worth of coins here. Because um, I had to get 10 boxes from two individual banks. Plus, I went to the bank today and picked up even more coins. So I'm just streaming, man. If you guys are going to enjoy watching it, I will continue streaming. All right. All right. Nothing there, Mr. Ether. Flash in your pan gets 10 rolls. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. All right, flash in your pan. Good luck, man. Okay. Eighty-four, seventy-one, seventy-six, seventy-six, seventy-one, seventy-one, seventy-four, ninety-seven. Okay, we are caught up on PayPal. If anyone other than a scientist finds a meteorite, can we record it somehow? Yeah. Um, just call your local university and they'll point you in the right direction. Ninety-four, ninety-seven, ninety-nine, seventy-one, eighty-three. All right. It doesn't have to be your local university. It could be anyone. But local would be better because they're going to want to see it, you know. Pictures usually don't do justice. Like, if I had one, I would just bring it over to, like, the Colorado School of Mines in Golden there. Some professor would be like, oh, yeah, I can, you know, ship it out to somebody or they'll have the information. You'd probably do the research online if you're a little more research savvy, right? Some of those meteorites are worth hundreds of thousands. Yeah, none of these, though. These are not the super, like, well, I mean, in my collection, I have lunar meteorites and Martian meteorites, which are the most expensive. And I do have little tiny pieces of those in my own personal collection. 2098. Yeah, they're worth way more than gold by weight, you know. Okay. 71, 76, 2083, 97, 71. 72, 74, 95, 83, 93, 72, 81, 73, 74, 76, 93, 98, 71, 71. 
<clears throat> Come on, silver. I guess I have to buy a new uh, microscope, don't I? I'm gonna buy a better one, though. Because this is really good. I mean, this picture is top quality. However, there's no magnification. I could get a different lens, I suppose. That might actually be better. I should just buy a new lens for my my DSLR. But then I have to switch lenses during the stream? That ain't gonna work. What is a Martian meteorite? It's a meteorite from, from the planet Mars. So when a, me a big meteorite hits Mars, um, you know, it send, there's the, the atmosphere on Mars isn't very thick. So when, you know, a, a big enough meteorite or something hits Mars, it sends up chunks of Mars up into its atmosphere and out of its atmosphere. And then it eventually, it makes its way to Earth at some point. Some of it does. And we've found meteorites from Mars and I showed you guys, here, let me show you this. I have a different one too. Yeah, this right here. This is a fragment from a genuine Martian meteorite. It was discovered in 2011 in southern Morocco. Laboratory analysis concluded that it is a Martian shir shirgotite. It was ejected from Mars by an asteroidal impact. So there's a piece of Mars right there, guys. That came through space. So it has the NWA6963. That's on that website I was showing you. This is cataloged on that website, so there's proof that this is a real thing. It's been, uh, it's real, and it wasn't cheap. <laughs> but I have two of them. I have one in my collection collection, and then this is just on display on my, my shelf back here. But, yeah. Alright. Um, flash in your pen has three, rolls left, have another gurgle, and we'll keep going here. Ah, uh, the pluggable USB microscope I have works well. That's what mine was. And it lasted for about a year and a half, maybe two years, and it is now trash. They last, it lasted long enough, but I hardly ever used it, but I kept it, I always kept it plugged in, so I think it probably burned itself out or something. It was only 20 bucks, you know? It lasted long enough. Um, I got my 20 bucks worth out of it, let's just say that. So, I mean, it is Chinese made, even the instructions are in Chinese and everything. I got it cheap on Amazon, and I didn't expect it to last very, very long. So it's fine, I don't care. It was just taking up space on my on my desk here, so I had to get rid of it. So we have another donation here. We have Eric Young and Rebel Dog Adventure Team. Eric was first. Thank you, Eric. Much appreciated. We're about halfway. We're past halfway through the second rail of the crazy train. Rebel Dog Adventure Team wants a piece of the meteorite action. So let me get your entries in too. Thanks, guys. Eric and Ardat. All right, we'll clear out PayPal. And we're good to keep going. Um, Pinger says, I got one from Amazon that works with no problem, plug and play, Windows 10. Yeah, that's what this one was. <laughs> I ripped it apart earlier, but, I mean, it looks like this. You probably, it's probably the same one. It was cheap, it was a plug and play, and I, it worked fine for a while, but it stopped working, so I ripped it in half. You know, it has a little dimmer switch for the light and stuff. It worked it worked okay when it worked. But it just I I had to uninstall it, reinstall it. I uninstalled every driver on my computer and reinstalled everything. All my USB drivers, I uninstalled and reinstalled. I tried many different USB ports for this and it just wasn't working. The light came on, but it it wasn't it wasn't working. So I mean, I've already wasted $20 worth of time 
trying to fix it at that point that's when i decided you know what it's just taking up space time to get a new one you know even though i don't really use it much anymore it would be really cool for today's live stream to show these meteorites up close especially the palace site with the olivine and the metal you know so uh yeah it's i mean I, i'm not mad or anything it's, it is what it is dude <clears throat> search craigslist for gold claim anybody Somebody is selling five gallon bucket of Alaska pay dirt and gold wheel future gold prospecting at home. Yeah, um, that would be a difficult. I don't know if I would buy it off of Craigslist because that could be anybody and they can easily change their name. They can change their account. I wouldn't be helping anybody by doing that. You know what I mean? Um, I like to do the pay dirt reviews that are helping people that are thinking about trying to pan for gold and I don't want people to get ripped off is basically the, the whole purpose behind those videos. If there was a Craigslist one, if word got out to the Craigslist person, they would just stop doing it and, you know, I don't know. Besides five gallons of pay dirt, that's a... That would be a, a lot of dirt to bring upstairs. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I would do it, but. <laughs> I would take it to the creek and run it through a sluice box and then keep the concentrates and bring that home. Um, I ordered one of them GoPro microphones and it wasn't compatible with your Hero 7. Which one did you get? Um, mine's all locked away in my, in my um, travel camera, bo um, ca travel case. But um, email me, and I'll go through my old Amazon list, and I'll send you the link for what I got. Maybe you should try Craigslist Clash for what? Make good content. I don't know. Um, pfft, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Are there any meteorites that need to be in a special zero gravity chamber? Probably not. Uh, Daniel got my first bag of pay dirt and found the gold I did from learning your videos. So thankful for the videos, learned a lot, very helpful. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoy the videos and I'm glad they're helping you. That's what it's all about. I hope you had fun with your pay dirt. That's always fun. I think we got everybody's answers here. Yeah. All right. For pay dirt. Yeah. Thing is, with Craigslist pay dirt, though, it could be. I mean, I could sell. I could go out to the backyard, grab a scoop full of dirt, throw it in a bag, and call it pay dirt. I mean, you know, and then if somebody reviews it, I could just be like, okay, I'm just going to change my label, change my uh, Craigslist name, and sell it differently. You know, I mean, it's not going to help anybody if I did Craigslist pay dirt, I don't think. <clears throat> GoPro mics, bad luck with you. Yeah, make sure you get the adapter with it. Let me show you. I'll dig it out. Okay. So the, the microphone I have, um, I, I don't know the name of it. Oh, yeah, I do. It's, it's made by Ceremonic. And then it has a little baby tiny dead cat on it here to keep the wind problems going. And then, of course, you need the adapter from GoPro. Um, this is the th third one I went through from GoPro because they always... You have to plug it in like this, and then I shoe grew it on top of a... Um, I had it sugrued to the top of a, a, a GoPro case, like um, housing, and then this plugs into the GoPro, and then you can, it's a unidirectional microphone, so you could tilt it towards your mouth when you're, it's on your chest, or you could point it forward. If you're holding it you know, towards you, you can move the microphone, but you're going to have to edit that out because whenever you touch this thing, it's like, <laughs> it makes that sound. But yeah, dude, this, I mean, this works. It works pretty good. But they're disposable. These GoPro things are trash, man. Because like I said, you have to have them bent like this. And then this part right here gives out. I could probably solder it, but I always just complain to GoPro and they send me a free one. You know? All right. Let's keep going here. Flash in your pan gets a big pull. Good luck, man. Yeah, they're like 60 or 70 bucks on eBay. I get mine directly from GoPro because when something goes wrong with it, you can call e you can call GoPro and you can get they always I mean 
after a couple months they break. So you're gonna need to buy it from GoPro to get your return. Your um, I mean they do it for me because I just complain nonstop, and I threaten them with a a bad review video. <laughs> Um, yeah, Canada, you got yourself a Maple Leaf Monkey Privy 4.9 Silver, 1 ounce reverse proof, 2016 $5 face value going to flash in your pan. That's three of those we pulled already. Those are awesome. Okay, Outdoors Inspired gets two. <clears throat> Cali... Connect. Sprayed out my rugs in my truck last week because it was full of sand from a river trip. You found decent gold in it. That's... <laughs> yeah, dude. And you know what you could do also is wash the underside of your your vehicle. If you're out in, a you know, the gold fields or whatever. You could pan that out. And yeah, you could find gold doing that. I don't have carpet in my truck, though. I have rubber matting. So... I And I wash my truck like every two or three times a week so it's you know there's no chance of finding any gold in my truck all right outdoors inspired gets one more roll here good luck man it looks like you might have an nifc right there or a 99 that's a 99 uh 74 72 76 99 81 73 2073. <clears throat> hmm, nothing there. All right, Eric Young is up next. He gets 10 rolls. We'll just bring the whole box up to the table and we'll pull 10 for Eric. Four. Six, eight, ten, and ten for Rebel Dog Adventure Team while the box is on the table. We went to go see um, the new Star Wars last night. Took Heather on a date. Uh, P-Town says, think you need to update how many boxes are left. Two, four, six. Nope. We still got six boxes left. Thanks for reminding me, though. But we do have, uh, I still have six boxes available. All right. Once again, we are giving away a full meteorite collection here from all over the world. Some iron meteorites, palisite there, chondrite from Algeria there, stony iron meteorite. And this one wants to have hair on it for some reason. It's cat hair. You get, you get cat hair for my cats. One piece of cat hair for free. Oh yeah, and the Canyon Diablo right there. Just a sliver. All right, but yeah, there's about 42 grams of space rocks in there six different kinds All right Eric young good luck We did find two 90 percenters already We found a proof a bunch of K coins way more than last night And we have NorCal Prospecting. What's up, dude? Thank you for the donation. Cool, man. Got you on the board here. Um, we'll get your rolls in a minute here. We'll we'll do what we got. We'll work our way down. Give this video a thumbs up. Let us get this live stream to 100 likes. 
I rarely hit 100 likes because there's usually... This is like, not many people know about this live stream, so there's not many people in here. Because we all know the rules about Clutch Guitars TV. The first rule is do not talk about Clutch Guitars TV. We like to have a small group of people here. We all pretty much know each other. If there's any new people, first of all, welcome. Welcome to the Clutch Guitar Me. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new, if you'd like to come back. There's no jerks in here, except for the guy who scratches up the coins, and you'll see what I'm talking about here, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll find one of the, the jerk coins. But yeah, we're all, we all get along. For the most part, I mean, you got mud swad here, but you know, nobody's perfect. I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. Digs the background music. Best kept secret on YouTube. That's right. Don't tell anybody. We don't want it. We don't want, you know, more people here. And remember, if you're an ex-girlfriend, make sure you hit that thumbs down button so I know that you're stalking me. I need to know. 94, 71, 99, 74, 74, 74, 76, 73, and these two are stuck together. That's disgusting. 71, 83, 71, 97, 74. Oh, yeah. 2000. I never found your secret channel. Yeah. That's because you haven't looked for it hard enough. Um, I do have a secret YouTube channel. That's what he's talking about. Over there, I do. I play guitar a lot. Um, like, I, it's mostly metal songs that I play covers of. There's also, um, what else is over there? Just crazy random stuff, like, um, trying to feed a carrot to a cat. He won't eat it. He just kind of throws it on the ground, and that's the video. Um, playing with a jack-in-the-box at Cracker Barrel. I mean, just random things. I think... Yeah. My ex-girlfriend is in that vi one of those video. One of my ex-girlfriends is in that video. She got bit by a dog, and we had to take her for rabies shots. Also, I when I ruptured the extensor tendon in my in my hand, I went to the hospital in the emergency room. I have video of that. Just like things that like a normal civilian would pull the phone out of their pocket and start recording. That's kind of what's on that channel. Well, not normal civilian. We're talking about me here. I'm far from normal. I like how you put the Burbs house in the comp vid. There needs to be a part. Dude, I am not going down back there. That was terrible. That was the worst thing I ever did. That's the title of the video, I think. The worst thing I ever did. <laughs> like... First of all, the house was haunted. Second of all, there was... I mean, it, it was... It was distracting how that stuff was exploding around me. Just... Out of nowhere, just boom, boom. It was like, what? And that's disgusting, getting sprayed on by pee. It's like, dude, I'm, I filmed that video and got the heck out of there. I did actually go on the porch to knock for permission, but I, I, had, I didn't knock. I like got to the porch, I saw the boxes and boxes full of it, and I was like, okay, I'm turning around. That was bad. Not silver. 91, 81, 89, 71, 94. I've got videos of myself crushing ore in my old job when I was working in a coal in coal mining coal mining, sampling uh, solid fuels and and water. I'm you know running a nice hammer mill crusher. This was back in like 2009. I filmed it. But man, I miss those crushers that I had at that at that job. We had we had a, a large hammer mill crusher, we had a small hammer mill crusher, and then we also had pulverizers. And there's a 2002 NIFC right there. 2002 Denver Mint. NIFC going to 
not Rebel Dog. It's going to Eric. This is his last roll. Six, six, one, one, three, eight, four, four. Nothing there. Okay, Eric Young. Good luck, man. Let's get you some gold. There's a better chance of getting gold. I reduced the odds. There's only 30 coin, 31 coins in here. And one of them is gold. Alright. <laughs> Again. I think this is probably about the end of my Canadian uh, Maple Leafs. There can't be that many more left. That's another Monkey Privy. They're all the same. We've been pulling a lot of these tonight. Congrats on that. We're going to throw a Britannia in there. Proof Britannia right there. One ounce of silver from 2020. Going in the bag. Up next we have Rebel Dog Adventure Team. Good luck, man. You should go back and interview the person living there. Um... <laughs> Alright, you know what? You live close to down there. Why don't we do that? We'll go get some sloppers in Pueblo. And then we'll take a ride into Canyon City. And I'll let you knock on the door. And, and um, you can have my camera. I'll hide in the truck and you can ask him why. I'll buy your I'll buy your dinner. I'll buy your slopper and a soda pop. I like how you. P oh yeah, okay, I read that. Yeah, worked on the jaw crusher when it was fifteen. Yeah, dude, the jaw. We had a jaw crusher as well. We called it the chipmunk. I have. Vi there's a video of that too, on that channel using the chipmunk. It's just a rock crusher, basically. It's a big one. I mean. It's it's not a big one. I shouldn't say it's a big one. It's actually a pretty small crusher, but it's its intention is to crush bigger rocks. You have to smash them up with a hammer first and get get them big enough to fit in there. But then it just crushes them up into like you know pieces, probably nickel size, and then from there you throw it in, into the large crusher, and then from the large crusher to the small crusher, then from the small crusher to the pulverizer, which turns it into a dust. And then you can do your assay on it or your your fire assay. Put it to crucible and fire it up. Tell you the BTUs on your solid fuels. You can also, I mean, he had one of those XRF machines, whatever the heck they are. Test, you know, to do, he could actually do gold assays for gold ore at that, at that old job. But we didn't do, we did it once in a while, but that was before I was even in the prospecting or anything. That was just my job, what I did. I got paid like, I was getting paid 11 bucks an hour. I worked there for four years. It was like, I mean, we used to just, <laughs> that crusher room was full of like black dust from crushing, you know, crushing rocks all day. And we just used to go around all the time and just like, with our two fingers all over the walls, just going like this, making two ones, like 11, $11 an hour, just 11, 11, 11, 11, all over the place. And we'd be like, yeah. So how was your day? Oh, you know, slinging dirt and making 11 bitch slaps to the chops per hour. You know, working. <laughs> Busting our backs for 11, for 11 bucks an hour. Right in the face. What is a slopper? Oh my goodness, dude. Well, if you go to Pueblo, Colorado, it's a local food in Pueblo. And I didn't know what it was until Outdoors Inspired brought me for one. It's basically an open face hamburger or cheeseburger, and they dump salsa on it. Or, yeah, it's basically like, like this sauce. It's, and then you just eat it with a fork. It's the best. You gotta have a nice big soda pop with it, though. Okay, Ardat, you got five rolls left. Fun times, yeah, buddy. For 11. I worked there for four years, man. 11 bucks. And then I worked at my next job. Within a year, I was making, you know, 17. I'm glad I left that place. I couldn't survive on 11 an hour. Even with, and, and I mean, I, and they didn't offer that much overtime. So I couldn't, I couldn't, if I wanted to make more money, I couldn't. I mean, I was like, if I missed a day at work, I was going into severe debt, like credit card debt or whatever, you know? I made sure that I didn't use my credit cards unless I had the cash to pay them off in full every month. I wasn't, you know, 
being whatever the word is unresponsible with my credit cards or anything it was just you know I, I had to use my credit card for certain things paying for gas and everything and we got three rolls left for rebel dog adventure team we have a mint set coin from 93, 74, 72, 96, 92, 84, 76, 1980, 74, 94, 95, 73, 93, 81, 83, 74, 72, 74, 93, 1990, nothing there. Going to chase a camel, we'll be back soon. Going to chase a camel, where are you, buddy? I've never been to Saudi Arabia. Yet. I would like to go to, uh, what's up, Heather? Oh, she's wearing her yoga pants again. <clears throat> Hi, how you doing? How you doing? She, she, here's Heather right now. She's giving me that. She's going to bring Manly Manners book up to me in a minute, I bet. How was your day? Good. Okay, one roll left for our dat. See if we get any silver here in your roll. I don't see any silver. You still get a big pull. Are you cooking tonight? Didn't pull anything out. Okay. Well. Oh, you're not. Okay. If the roads are bad, then stay here. Oh, the side roads are too bad. Okay. Yeah, she's wearing the yoga pants again. Okay, Rebel Dog Adventure Team, you get a big pull. I got one in my hand, and you got a Britannia right there. Two pounds, face value, one ounce of silver. 2016 proof from the UK. Very nice, very nice. All right. We are taking break. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back with NorCal Prospecting. Um, if you guys would like to keep the show going, it's five bucks per roll per entry. I'll have my phone on me. We're going to take a... She just got home. We're going to take a seven-minute break. Set timer for seven minutes. And, yeah, we'll be right back.
Oh, the microphone is still on. Nice. Okay, Vanessa Curry. And Eric S. Thank you guys. All right. So we have NorCal prospecting up next. And Eric S. Gets a roll. Two rails of the crazy train so far for the meteorite collection. If you guys want to see, if you're just joining and you're wondering what the giveaway is, because there's no pictures of it up right now, even on the thumbnail there's no picture, uh, I do a pretty thorough run through of the collection. <laughs> we have to do a giveaway. Let's do that. 39 people watching. Good luck. Guess a number between 1 and 39. First person to guess the number that I write down gets a free entry for the Meteorite Collection. Okay, get some gloves on, and we will pick a winner. Are you picking? All right. Cool. All right. Blue cheese headband. I know what you guys are talking about up here. Nice. All right. So we have to find a winner right now. Who's the winner? Ah, we got a winner. Blazing Doob guessed eight on my screen first right there. Let's scroll up to prove it. Blazing Doob gets an entry. Congrats, man. And let's go down to the bottom. We could start opening more rolls. NorCal Prospecting is up next. We are down to five boxes now. Update the graphic above my head. And NorCal gets 10. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if anybody else would like to see their name on, you know what, Vanessa, I'm not going to issue your coins just yet. I'm just going to set these off to the side. Get rid of that box. And we can call it caught up. Okay, everybody's entries are in. All right, NorCal, good luck, man. Right. Oh, we got something in here. Interesting. Very shiny right there. What is that? I don't think it's a proof. It's a 99. Man. Some of those 90... That was a mint set 99 because it was thicker. I think the mint sets were the thicker ones. And the regular business strikes are thin. The ones we that are real shiny too. So it's... It's one of those things. All right. <clears throat> Come on, Silver. Let's find another Canadian 80 percenter. That was crazy. I was not expecting to find that thing. That was real cool. CSI Decon. Yeah, man. There's five boxes left. You don't have to ask. They're available. I got plenty of coins left. Plenty, plenty of rolls left. 92, 76, 72, 71, 84, 78, 83. What was on the Canadian silver? So there was... Um, I guess a king or a guy on the front and on the back there was like some kind of a strange if you go back to the live stream I made sure I got it on camera twice um, detailed pictures using the you know using this this view right here I was showing it up close and everything it's hard to explain what it looks like you know you have to look at it yourself but definitely very interesting 
80% silver Canadian, 1942 from Canada. It's so weird that that's was in a roll down here in the U.S. That was a great Canadian. That was cool, right? Okay. 2001, 76, 78, 74, 78, 74, uh, 77, 77, 76, 93, 83. All right, five left for NorCal. Um, I don't think that's silver. We've got one for CSI Decon. Thanks, man. Get your name in the book. All right, you're squared away, man. That's three rails. The beginning of three rails of the crazy train over here. All right, let's go through these roll these coins here for NorCal. We're looking for. Sorry, it's not in screen here. Here we go. I'm still getting used to that above head camera. 71, 71. Right. Ninety-seven, eighty-eight, two thousand, seventy-two, seventy-six, ninety-five, eighty-one, seventy-three, seventy-four, a couple seventy-twos, ninety-nine, another seventy-two, seventy-six, seventy-four, two thousand one. Ninety seven, eighty five, eighty nine, ninety six, four, four, six, two, six, two, three, 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 six, nine, six, eight. Come on, rare coins. So we found two 90 percenters so far this stream. No 40 percenters yet. Nineteen ninety, ninety two, ninety five, seventy seven, ninety four, seventy four, seventy one, seventy six, seventy four, seventy one, seventy one, ninety eight, seventy one, nineteen eighty, seventy six, seventy four, seventy six, nine, four, seven. All right, man. It's okay. We're going to get you something good here. Good luck, NorCal prospecting. There is gold in this bag. Let's see what we pull out here. I thought we were all out of these, but I mean, I'm pretty sure we're completely out of these now. That's a another Monkey Privy reverse proof one ounce four nine silver from Canada, five bucks face value. Going to NorCal prospecting, and we're on the Vanessa. All right, there's five. Seven, nine, ten. Okay. All right, Vanessa, good luck. <coughs> that is you. Here we go. Good luck. Let's find some silver for you. Two seventy four, eighty nine, seventy seven, seventy six, ninety four, and a seventy one. What's this? Seventy seven P. I 
gotta get my loop out for this one. I, th I think I see an FG there, but I want to make sure. Yeah, it's there. It is there. FG is on the back. 77 is a, a year that you can look for the no FG error. Right. Come on, silver. 99. 74, 76, 96, 85, 96, 6, 2, 2001, 4, 2, 4, 7, 1, 9. All right, we're getting close here. We got six rolls left for Vanessa. We got one for Eric, one for CSI Decon, and then we are caught up on PayPal here. If anybody else would like to see their name on the table, it's five bucks per roll per entry. All the different tiers for guaranteed silver and stuff are scrolling along the bottom and in the description. So if you would like some guaranteed silver, just read the description and that should easily walk you through the process. And remember, if you're a first time donator, I will send you a Clutch Guitars pick. Um, speaking of these, I just designed brand new ones with a new logo um, and the back of the new ones, I actually had, instead of signing everyone individually, because they, eventually these will wear off if you touch them a lot, I had the new designs imprinted with a signature. So I, I you know, I took a post-it note, I signed it, I sent them that, and they're going to, they're going to actually imprint that into the picks. So they'll all be the same. I thought about just signing the back of each one, but the new picks are black, so there's no way of doing that. I can't, I can't sign a black pick, so I just had them, you know, imprinted with white ink on the front and back. I was going to do green ink, but I didn't know how dark the green was, so I, I wanted to make sure that it was really visible, so I, I went with white ink. So I got, I ordered, like, 500 of those They'll be in a couple weeks, but I got plenty of yellow ones to go through before we get to those black ones uh, CSI decon says so I just watched that recap of 2019 that you did and oh my god on that entire roll of Benji's What was the total value of that whole roll? So I mean if you look at the value there was no 55s There was no key dates or anything in there but so I mean 20 times I don't know, eight or nine dollars each. So I mean, if you do the math, that's an NIFC I just pa almost passed up. If you do the math, twenty times. Well, no, yeah, no, there was forty coins times eight. So whatever that is, that's the total silver value. Two thousand six Denver, going to Vanessa, and I still have that ro that empty bankroll here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. I keep this. I keep this on my desk for uh, for good luck. But this is the same. This is that roll where I, it was full of Franklins. I found that in it was like February of la of this year. So that was the best silver find I ever had in one roll. And I had this available available during a live stream, but nobody bought it. And at the end of the stream, I was like, all right, well, I got to dump coins, so I. I opened it up and there it was, man. Forty half dollars, all silver, all Franklins. Imagine if I would have gave that away on a live stream. That would have been awesome. But I'm kind of glad I didn't. I mean, I ended up giving those all away to you guys anyway in the long run. So I didn't keep any of those Franklins. I gave them all to you guys. Um, got my pick in half dollar protector. Nice. Um, Outdoors Inspired says, do you own any Tezos? Yeah. On Coinbase, you can earn five. Yeah, just for holding. Yes, I do have Tezos and I buy, I get $100 worth of it every week. So I'm stacking that stuff because you can watch it right on Coinbase. Like you said, you can watch the value of it go up. 
And the more you have, the faster it goes up. So yeah, I, I do stack that. Tezos. I don't know how to pronounce it. Tezos. Whatever. But yeah, I um I bought a hundred bucks worth, and then I bought another. F no, what am I doing? Fifty dollars a, a a week. Oh yeah, I bought a hundred dollars outright, and then I started a fifty dollar reoccurring buy every week for that stuff. Because you can stake it on Coinbase, which is the first time that they're doing that with any kind of cryptocurrency, which is really interesting. And yeah, dude. Tezos is a really interesting cryptocurrency. I did a little bit of reading into it. It's basically a cryptocurrency that can be modified as it goes in case there's any kind of bugs, if there's any kind of upgrades they want to do to it, if there's any kind of, like I said, bugs or any, any kind of um, weak points, they can fix it. So it, the longevity on it is... Unlike any other cryptocurrency, the longevity is pretty, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere, you know? It's like a customizable one on the, the developer side. I don't know, what is the, the volume, the max the max volume of the Tezos coin. I'm going to find out right now. Let's go over here. We'll go to coin market cap and we'll find out. So Tezos is there it is. So there is a $922 million volume right now, a market cap um, circulating supply. Okay, so there's 694 million of them. So today's trading volume, there was $39 million worth traded today, 20, the past 24 hours volume, and they're worth a buck 33 each right now. Um, yeah, coin market cap, this website will give you that information about every cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, of course, is the top $132 billion. Ethereum's at 14. Um, 14 billion XRP is at 8 billion and they're 19 cents each man. I remember buying that stuff when it was like a fraction of a penny each dude. Any of these top 20 are pretty safe to buy. Tron, I have a I actually own 1 million of these. <laughs> they're only worth a penny, but a million that's like 10 grand, right? Or 100 grand or something. It's a lot. And Ethereum Classic. I'd even go down to 25. You know, Dash is good. V Chain is good. NEM is good. BAT is good. Dogecoin. I mean, you could buy Dogecoin. I can't believe they're 0 0.02 cents each right now. But that's ridiculous. Here's the price of Bitcoin right now. Okay, let's get back to the show. Um, where is my wheel? There it is. Okay. Back to the coin, sorry about that. Had to nerd out for a minute because somebody asked about crypto. <laughs> oh boy. You treat us all very well. Thank you. Thank you, man, for stopping stopping in, dude. I, I appreciate the view. It's very nice to have people in, enjoying these shows along with me because I'd be doing this by myself if it wasn't for live streaming. And I don't like, I don't even like having my picture taken let alone live streaming for hours on end. Okay, Vanessa, you get a big pull. We're almost done for the night here. If you guys would like to keep the show going, it's five bucks per roll per entry. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and go through Eric and CSI Decon's rolls. We're going to enter all the names into a random name picker. We'll pick the winner of the Meteorite collection. This is your last chance. I don't, I don't have enough Meteorites to give away for another collection like this, so you know. This is a one-time deal. So, American Silver Eagle going to Vanessa. 2016 going to Vanessa. Very nice. My favorite. We're going to replace that with a Libertad into the bag. And we'll keep going here. We have two rolls left. We've got five boxes of coins left. So there's plenty to go around. Okay, Eric. Good luck, man. Daryl Adams, Clutch Guitars, I. 
Um, Crazy301, hello everyone, and Clutch Guitars, what's up? Crazy301, brand new person, I've never seen you here before. Thanks for stopping in to my, my live stream channel. <clears throat> all right, all right. And CSI Decon says there's a vid on YouTuber on this couple that buys storage units and found two gold bitcoins in case dated 2009 and 10 star note 100s. Cool. Yeah, those old gold Bitcoin Casasius Kaze coins from 2009 through 2012, I think he stopped making them. Even if there was no Bitcoin on them, they're still very valuable. They're collector's items now to the cryptocurrency community, and I, I have some physical Bitcoin that I purchased back in 2012 or 2013, I bought it when I was first getting into crypto. Okay, there was nothing there, Eric. We got one roll left, and we're going to start entering names into the random picker. Last chance, guys, if you would like to see your name on the, on the table here and get a chance to win a Meteorite collection. Now's your chance. Like I said, I probably won't do another stream like this, at least for another long, long time. And there we go. CSI Decon, there was nothing in your roll. So at this point in the show, we're going to start entering names into the wheel. It's not too late to donate if you would like, if you would still like a chance, feel free. I have my, I'll get a notification and I'll double check PayPal again before I spin the wheel. But right now, we're going to start entering names. I'm going to take my gloves off because, yeah, who wants to wear those gloves? Not me. All right. So, first up, we're going to go with our 10 entry people. Oh, if anybody needs to get my attention, please highlight it in orange by putting an at symbol in front of my name. You have four Kazasis coins 2012 unloaded. Yeah, Daryl, those things are awesome, man. They're very, they're valuable. Check, check eBay CSI Decon for the value. They're anywhere, I mean, I don't even know. I haven't checked in a long time, but I do have physical Bitcoin in my, uh, in my safe. Or my, not my safe, the bank safety deposit. This is one of those shows that can take me away from my past. Thank you, I can relax. Maybe it's because I keep on talking. Maybe that's why. I just keep, that's like what I do. Like in my head, I also, I, I don't know if you have like PTSD or anxiety or anything, but going through these coins, talking to you guys, reading stuff, staying busy is like the number one thing. Other than, of course, going out into nature and just trying to enjoy nature and panning for gold, metal detecting, all that stuff, treasure hunting, it kind of takes you, it, it focuses your brain on stuff that you don't, you know, other than things that you don't want to be thinking about. So we're going to go and enter all the 10 people, the 10 entry people here. So we've got AU Rockin, we've got Nebo Gold. We've got Space Force. We've got Pinger. We've got Flash in your pan. We have Eric Young. We have Ardat. We have NorCal. And Vanessa. All right, so all you guys get 10 entries. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Can we cross those off? Okay, we got another donation or two here, so we're just gonna we're gonna enter everything that's in the book, and then we're gonna go back to the show. This stream is good medicine. Thanks. Glad I can help somebody. More than one person. That's good. Um, okay, let's keep going here. Before I get sidetracked, we're going to do all the single entry people. There's a bunch. Robin H. Christina K. Daryl A. We have Riku. All caps. We've got Mr. Ether. We've got Budrig. We have Outdoors Inspired gets two.
Eric, Blaze, and CSI Decon. All right. Okay. That's everybody. Did I miss anyone? I don't think I did. Um, okay, so we do have like three new donations since I've been entering this. So don't worry, we're not going anywhere just yet. Four donations. I'm sorry, we got four donations that just rolled in here. So let's get these guys on the board. I'm gonna leave my gloves off just for another minute. I'm cheating. I don't want to wear these things. Come on. They're, I mean, my hands get sweaty, dude. I'm also a foot sweater. Who else has sweaty feet? Joseph Richard is panicking. Don't worry, buddy. Everything's cool. We're all friends here. Everything's good. Don't worry about it, man. It's in your head. Stay busy. Focus on the coins. Everything's gonna be awesome, my friend. Silver's at $18. Nice, dude. Okay. All right, all right. So we have... We have Joe Richard. We have James Chavez. Um, let's see. James gets two and Sean gets two. And I better check PayPal because Rebel Dog Adventure Team just donated two. And if I don't check PayPal, I might mess things up. <laughs> All right, dude. Rebel Dog Adventure Team just donated for Mud Swat and Blazing Doob. You guys get... All right, so I got to get your names on the board right now. I'm kind of slacking here. Let me clear out PayPal. Okay, PayPal is just about cleared out. Oh, EVG. EVG just messaged me. 4K coins. I didn't text you that your box is up in the stream because it was 5 a.m. Streamed for almost seven hours last night. Awesome, dude. Cool. Yeah, these streams could be, I mean, you know, if people are sending donations in, you can't just get up and go, you know? I, that's why I take breaks every hour because I used to go 11 hours at a time without even standing up. And that was bad for my back, and I it used to scare me doing these live streams, because, man, sitting here for 11 hours is not fun, honestly. After hour and eight or nine, you're just like, ah, my back is killing me. All right, so we have a couple new people here. Not new people, just new donations. We have Joe Richard. Joe gets a roll. We also have James Chavez. He gets two rolls, and then we have Sean P with two rolls. We have Blazing Dube and Mud Swat. You get three. And Mud Swat also gets three. And those guys get pulls and a coin flip, as usual. Thank you, Rebel Dog Adventure Team. That is awesome, my friend. Also, guys, I don't think I'm going to live stream tomorrow night because um, um, it's New Year's and everything. And um, it's her birthday as well. So I got a double whammy there with things to do so I can't promise a live stream tomorrow night go do your thing you know the crazy train keeps rolling yes it does my friend okay um CSI decon we took care of you. Joe Richard James Chavez Sean P Blaze And mud swat. Right. Good luck, fellas. All right. 
All right, here we go. Thank, first of all, thanks, guys, for keeping the show going. That's awesome. Much appreciated. Joe Richard, good luck. Close out of that so I could read what you guys are saying. And there we go. Ozzy. Um, all right, let's check out these comments. We got 1976, 1978. I remember 1978. Sabbath. Oh, there we go. 2014 NIFC. Going to Joe Richard. Really nice shape. 73, 74, 5, 86, 76, 76, 94, 94, 76, 2000. All right, Joe, we Two thousand one, seventy-two, seventy-one, seventy-six, nineteen eighty, and a seventy-six. This is for a meteorite collection. If anybody's interested, you might. I mean, dude, I didn't even know I wasn't inter. I didn't know that I was interested in meteorites until I started seeing them at these rock and gem shows, and I was like, dude, that is so cool. Like, these rocks have been flying around. And they end up on Earth, and we find them, and... Yeah, dude. Very cool. Alright. Happy birthday to Heather. It's, oh, also your birthday is on the first. James, cool, man. Happy birthday to you as well. Yo, yeah, well, I'm taking her... Oh, actually, she bought me a birthday gift, and we're gonna go tomorrow to the Texas Day Brazil restaurant where it's all the eat all the meat you can eat restaurant. She's going to have the salad bar cuz you know the salad bar there is ridiculously awesome too. It's like the best salad bar I've ever seen as a matter of fact. And then uh, after that we're going to go I don't know, we got to find a bowling alley or something for her birthday for New Year's, but that's going to be a tall order trying to find a Bowling alley with a vacancy because I already tried before Christmas to book a place and there was nothing But we had luck last year just driving around and we ended up getting into one So that's what we're gonna do Sean. There was nothing in your rolls blazing dube gets three Seventy one ninety nine seventy seven ninety five 74, 98, 96, 77, 6, 7, 2, 6, 0, 4, 2, 2, 6, 7. My goodness. Joe, do I still need to email you? I got my last coin without the email. No, so if you gave me permission to keep your mailing address, I have it. So don't worry about it. If I sent it to you without you sending it to me, that means I got it. I got your mailing address. You were walking your dog and you got hit by a meteorite. Holy cow, dude. That is, um, extraordinarily rare. Hope you're not dead. Uh, they must have taken a limb off because meteorites hit the earth so fast. They come in screaming in at like 20,000 miles an hour. They hit the earth their plasma when they hit the earth and they they cause the earth around it to turn into glass like those those tectites that I was showing you guys earlier in the show that's all glass from meteorites hitting like the libyan desert glass and all that blaze there was nothing in your rolls mud swats up next we're going to cut all three guys if you want to keep the show going you know what to do we're at our last couple rolls here 74, 71, 74, 72, 71, 71. Get your chance to win an awesome little meteorite collection. A nice little starter collection for sure. Much better than my own starter collection. Which was basically just one meteorite. Alright. What else we got? 74, 71, 74, 76, 94, 70, 95, 72, 73, 5, 9, 6, 8, 0. 
Ah, uh, nothing there, mud. Okay. Two thousand seventy four seventy one. Okay, that was the last roll. I'm gonna enter all. Actually, we have to do a small pull for Blaze and Mud. We're gonna do a flip. So heads or t first of all, let's do the pull, and then after I say heads or tails, go. You guys say heads or tails. We'll go by whoever says it first. And we've got a ninety percent right there. It's nineteen sixty four. 90% silver half dollar going to either Blaze and Dube or Mud Swat. I'm going to re replace that before we do the flip. Okay. All right, go ahead and flip. Heads or tails. Let's change camera screens there we go blazing dube says tails first all right so if we get tails blazing dube gets it it is heads again going to mud swat congrats mud swat and we're going to enter these last couple names into the random picker it's not too late to donate if you want to keep the show going you know what to do Got a couple, not very much time, but this is a last chance, I think. We'll go ahead and enter these names here. Up next, we have, let's see here, let me get my wheel enter thing. There we go. Okay. We've got three for Blaze. We've got three for Mud. We have one for Joe Richard. Two for James and two for Sean. All right, everybody's name is in. All right, last chance for entries, last chance for donations, and we're going to do the spin here. All right. All right. Good luck. We're gonna do. We're gonna shuffle first here. Shuffle the names. Shuffle it two or three times. All right. All right. Click to spin. Good luck. And congratulations to the winner of this awesome little meteorite collection here. We've got NorCal prospecting. All right, man. Let me show you guys this collection one more time. Like I said, this is probably the last time I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway like this in at least a while because I don't have... I don't have enough of these to go around to make a nice little collection like this. I might do another space stream, but it's not going to be a, like a full collection, so... NorCal Prospecting, you got the Serico Palisite, 4.8 grams. Right there with the... Olivine in it and metal. So you got metal and gemstones from outer space in that one. Uh, here is that Algerian chondrite, rocky iron meteorite. Stony iron, I should say. Algeria, Africa, 11.36 grams. A piece of Canyon Diablo famous iron meteorite from Arizona. That's a 2.6 sliver right there. Uh, this is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Russian 5 grammar, fell in 1947. It's a, this one was viewed as it was falling, which it makes it more valuable. Um, Nandan, this is, yeah, the cat hair doesn't come with it. 4 grams, this was found in China. I don't know the history on it, but you can check it out on that website. And the Campo del Cielo, this is the world's biggest meteorite ever found. 13.3 grams and it is a cut piece so you know it's it's got it's sliced like that so you can see all the let me zoom in on it for you you can see all the details in it and everything very cool 
Yeah, awesome, man. Congrats on that. Thanks to everybody that's donated. We're going to go over all the winnings right now. Get this collection back in the bag. We'll ship that off to NorCal. And... All right. Get rid of the gloves. Okay. NorCal, where you at? Right there. Okay. We're going to move you down here, so there's room for all your stuff. Okay. AU rockin'. You got an ounce and a clad. Nebo Gold Adventures got two 90 percenters, a clad and an ounce. Riku, you got a pick. Space Force Channel got an ounce. Pinger got an ounce and a clad. Flash in Your Pan got an ounce. Eric Young got an ounce and a clad. Rebel Dog Adventure Team got an ounce. Vanessa, you got an ounce and a clad. Joe Richard got a clad. Mudswat got a 90 percenter. And NorCal Prospecting, you got an ounce and a Meteorite Collection. So thanks again uh, to the mods. Thanks for everybody for sticking around and watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Uh, Ex-girlfriends, thanks for the thumbs downs. And um, yeah, this is NorCal, you're really going to like this. This is a really cool starter collection for sure. Um, you know, you can buy these little ga glass case things on Amazon. You know, like a bunch of individual, like little plastic things like I have back here that I showed earlier in the show and um, you can take the little label and you put it underneath and then you put your meteorite inside there and then you have a nice little display case but they're cheap on Amazon a couple bucks so um, that's all I got for tonight again thanks everybody and I'll see you guys on yeah in 2020 because I'm probably not gonna stream tomorrow night uh, even though I do have five full boxes left I'm going to hold that off until probably Monday night, I think. So, Or not Monday, no. Wednesday night. Whatever that is. The first. Whatever that is. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And congrats again. Bye.